Guys, in this video, I have a bunch of mail to open up and I can't wait to show you what's inside. What's up guys, Hotra Frontier back at it again with another video. And in this video guys, we have some mail to open up. We actually have a lot of mail to open up. Um, I cannot wait to get into this. But before we get into it, I did promise to show you guys in our next video, we have a Stardust Dragon Starlight Road. So if you guys did not watch my vlog video, definitely go ahead and watch it. But we got this card at Ekacon uh, during the weekend, a few weeks back. Really, really amazing. Uh, this is probably like one of the most cards I've wanted on my list for a, on my collection for a long time. So really happy that we were able to pick it up. At the same time, guys, we actually picked this card up, this Black Range Dragon Ultimate Rare from Sparkman. Uh, so that was really cool as well. First edition, it's LP, but still, it, it's, it's, it's an amazing card, right? So let's put that to the side. Let's go ahead and put the Stardust Dragon to the side as well. Absolutely amazing, but we have a bunch of mail. Uh, I have this big box as well to open up, but we're gonna see that for another video. It might be too long. Uh, don't worry, you guys will see that soon. But let's go ahead and get to this first piece of mail. Just so you know, I got uh, cards from uh, TCG Player. Uh, I believe uh, people on Instagram sent me stuff as well, and people on YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and try to shout them out as we go along, but let's see who this is from. So we have Mad Cards. FL. So I'm assuming FL is Florida. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what they sent us. This is probably TCG player. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay, we have about, it looks like, a, yeah, a few cards here. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we have Gigantic Champion Sargus. Okay, yeah. Again, this was like during around when it just came out. It was a coming out. So, you know, a lot of the cards were cheap. So I thought I'd buy into them. Let's see what we have here. I think these are a bunch of just Photon Hypernova um, cards. Let's see. So we got the Champion Sargus. Not bad, all right. Oh, here we go. We got the Gravekeeper's Inscription. We got another Gravekeeper's Inscription and our last Gravekeeper's Inscription. Got them for like, uh, I believe, sevens or maybe they were sixes. And we have this Ice Jade Jameer Erigene. Erigene? I know. I mean, now we have a bunch of these, right? But before, I wasn't too sure. Uh, if we were to get it so i was like ah, i might as well get it it was really cheap anyway put that to the side though really happy for our photon hypernova pickups um going on to the next thing here i know this one right here is from prismatic really cool uh youtuber if you guys don't know him he pulls amazing cards he does uh challenges where he goes to like target walmart 50 dollars challenges can you make more than that uh and he does trust me he makes a lot more than that so uh, definitely go ahead and check him out. Of course, I'll have his info down below. But uh, let's go ahead and see what he sent us. I think we won a giveaway. Let's see. Okay, guys, we pulled it out. Looks like it is a graded card. This is going to be really amazing. Let's see. Oh, we have a Dark Magician. That is so cool. A 10, mint or better. That is awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten a card uh, like this from them before. So that is really cool. Um, you know, I, I kind of love to collect different graded uh, company cards. As you can kind of see, like, you know, how it holds up and uh, the material. It's really nice. I like this Dark Edition too. It's one of my um, one of my favorite type of artworks. Thank you so much, Prismatic. I appreciate this uh, card. I can't wait to have this in my collection. But let's go ahead and put this down. I'm going to put this right here so you guys can see. And let's get into the next piece of mail. This should be TCG Player, right? Yeah. Top Cut Comics Berwin. All right, let's see. I definitely should have the garbage like right next to me, but I uh, <laughs> was not thinking. Okay, so uh, you're seeing a lot of cards, right? That look the same. So let me explain myself. So Paradox Fusion. It is a card that actually runic players use, especially the ones uh, that are playing like runic stall until you uh, deck out. And it's a really good card because you can easily summon a fusion monster, you know, with the runic engine. So I thought, you know, I might as well go ahead and buy a bunch of these just in case they... Uh, Go up in price, because I believe this is their only uh, super rare uh, copy, and then it's just a common. So I mean, hey, the deck gets more popularity. I mean, this, these were like, this was weeks ago for like a YCS, I forgot which one it was. But yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and might as well pick these up. I think I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 10 copies, so might as well. They were really cheap. They were like uh, 50 cents, I believe, so not bad. Go ahead and put these to the side though. A little mini stock, you know, you never know. And then uh, we move in on here, we have a we have Christopher Baron Mimic TCG, okay. Seems really light, so I'm picking like a card, right? 
All right, so we have a single card. It's pretty dirty, so let's see what it is. Oh, is the true king Lithosage in the disaster? Because you guys don't know, this came back from the ban list. Really cool, so I have to go ahead and pick myself up a copy for dinos in the future. So that's gonna be really cool. Let's go ahead and put that to the side though and get on to our next piece of mail. We have the Wasteland Gaming, okay. All right guys, so we have three cards here and we have Mushroom Man number two. Mushroom Man number two, and guys, guess what? It's another Mushroom Man number two. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, but this card's really cool because if you give it to your opponent, it burns them, I believe. And um, yeah, I thought, because it, it is a, technically it was in the meta before, and I actually didn't have this anywhere, and I don't have uh, older bolt like that from uh, Metal Raiders, so I was like, I might as well go ahead and pick them up. They were very cheap. I think these were like near, like they were either lightly played or maybe moderately played. So they were they were pretty cheap on TCG Player, not gonna lie. Um, so really happy I have that. Now we have Newport Gaming, okay? So let's go ahead and open some stuff up from them. Let's see what they sent us. Of course, more cardboard. Okay, guys, here we go. So right here, we have a Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. So I'm actually not playing Despia. If you guys don't know, this is the tech card that Despia, branded Despia plays. They can send this to your opponent's field and it's just, they can't summon any more monsters that turn. It doesn't matter if they out this monster somehow, that's it for the rest of that turn. So it's really cool to have. I got this for like actually five bucks. Um, I'm still thinking if I want to play the deck, if not, I could just sell it for, actually it might be like 14, 15 bucks right now, but uh, really cool. Put this to the side. That's actually a one of two. They don't, uh, they're, they doesn't have another printing. So you know how old you are cards be. Getting on to the next piece of mail here we have from Moopy Cards, okay. We have a Kastira Shangri-La era. Uh, I believe I got two or one, but I think, yeah, I got two. Uh, again, another card I didn't have, and it's a good, uh, you know, for like Ghost Reaper. There's a Ghost Reaper target. Because think about it, like that's all really the deck does. It summons Shangri-La, and it also summons the uh, new monster from uh, Photon Hypernova. That's the Macro Cosmos. So if you think about it, it's not bad. Um, I actually didn't pull this at all in any of my boxes, which was crazy. But it's nice to have two copies now, so definitely go ahead and put that there. Let's see what we have here, guys. We got from Brian Leong. Okay, not bad. Let's see what he sent us. Looks kind of bulky, so let's see what we have here. All right, so we have here, a lot cheaper now, right? But um, we have here some cards that I've actually been meaning to get for a long time and you know, procrastination. We have Macro Cosmoses, all three. Uh, first Ed, not bad. Uh, it's really just a habit, right? These are from Enemy of Justice. Long time ago set, but really happy to have these. These were for Fluanderies. Uh, I can still use it for other decks, but um, yeah, I mean, it's good to have them. I can still use them for Flu right now. It depends, I have to do more testing with Flu, but really happy to have them. At least they're much cheaper than they were way back, right? So happy for that. Now, oh, okay, so guys, this piece of mail right here, we actually have from none other than Nubicon Gaming. So, uh, you know, I have to open this up very carefully. I don't want to get demonetized on YouTube when I'm not already, I'm not even monetized yet. <laughs> Got this new field center. It is the high school DXD. You know, you, you, of course, you got Akano, you got Rias, and uh, that's all you guys are gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna put that right here though. <laughs> Really cool. Again, Rubicon Gaming makes uh, like amazing products. Uh, not even that, just deck boxes as well, stickers, um, other accessories. They make clothes now, they make jerseys. So uh, really cool. Uh, I would, again, go ahead and check them out. Highly recommended, highly recommended. I hope I'd be able to have the chance to work with them in the future. But again, they just make such good quality uh, stuff on the website. So definitely go ahead and check them out. But um, guys, we have another piece of mail. Let's see what this one is from. This is from, oh, MasterCards. Okay, so MasterCards on Instagram. He sells a lot of really amazing cards. He's a huge fan of uh, Galaxy Eyes and uh, I believe Gene Raiders. So also a uh, really cool guy to talk about with Yu-Gi-Oh. We have a card right here. Let's see what it is. Oh, that is another True King with those has some disaster. Okay, I think I have a rare, so this will be my third copy now. So really cool, put that to the side. Thank you so much, bro for the card. But guys, we have not too many pieces of mail. We got about six pieces left, okay? And the last thing is the, gonna be the uh, most amazing thing that we bought. So let's go ahead and open this up. I should probably see who this is from first. Tack 
Trading Co. So this old Sesame TCG player. Let's see what we got from them. Oh, here we go. So we got a Ryza the Mega Monarch. This is definitely for flu. Um, I have an ultra rare copy, but I wanted to upgrade it and it's first dead, so I thought why not? Really cool though. I remember when uh, Flu was using this and the cart shot up in price to like ridiculous amounts, 40 bucks. And you know, cause they didn't really have more printings. So it was like, you kind of have to play it. So really cool card though. Uh, I got it for like maybe seven, eight bucks. Not bad. Uh, really cool. I'm gonna put this to the side. Let's see guys, we have about five pieces of mail left. Let's see what we have. We have B cool cards. Awesome. Also TCG player. Let's see what we have here. Let's, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, so we have Ninja Grand Master Saizo. What's funny about this is that I, I was actually gonna get like three from a friend of mine on Instagram. And see, I didn't even know I actually ordered it. That's why ordering cards randomly is just a bad, if you don't open them after a long time, you forget about what you ordered. <laughs> but I believe it's three, right? I think you really only need like one or two in the deck, but I thought I'd just get the playset just to have it. You never know. Yeah, so I got all three copies really cheap. They're like they were like 50 cents, I believe, when I got them, so not bad. Put them there. And uh, all right, next piece of mail we have for Meltdown Cars TCG. Uh, Meltdown Cars, if you don't know, we actually got cars from before. I believe we featured him in the last mail day, but um. He does um, like he has a lot of amazing claim sales on Instagram right now. I believe right now he's selling a bunch of stuff. Uh, Gate Guardians with the uh, three monsters that combine to make Gate Guardian all in an auction. I think it might actually end today, possibly. But yeah, you guys should uh, definitely go ahead and check him out. Really amazing dude. But uh, yeah, we picked up a bunch of ninja stuff, I believe, from him. Let's see where is the three go, trigger. So yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. We got, oh, okay, the third Shangri-La. Wait, please tell me there's not another one. Okay, cool, <laughs> I am about to say. We got Mizen, the Battle Ninja, not bad. And then uh, guys, we got three, I believe, of the, oh no, two. We got Ninja Art Notebook of Mystery, and we got our second copy of the Mystery. And then we have one more that we actually pulled in one of our videos, so not bad. And look, oh guys, look, it's Sparkman's favorite game. That's just the guy, right? If you guys didn't know, just a little tidbit. But um, put that to the side. Okay, two more things until we get the huge mail. We have from the Super Meta Bros on Instagram, YouTube. You guys already know. Let's see what they sent us. They did send us one of their stickers. Really, really cool. Um, soon I'm gonna be able to try to send. Uh, if you guys claim stuff for me or giveaway prizes, I'll send you guys like a business card of mine. It'd be really nice. But hopefully we'll get that out soon. Um, let me go, let me go ahead and show you guys what they sent us. Of course, I have their sticker, and I believe it's just the one card. Okay, yeah, we have a Book of Eclipse from Dude. Really cool. Uh, I mean, it's self-explanatory. This card is really good in the meta right now against Catch Tier and other decks, just being able to put, bring them down. You know, of course, if you can just uh, clear them because of the end phase, if not, they come back up and they get to the draw a card for every card that was flipped face down currently on the field. But again, uh, thank you guys so much for, uh, well, Met Meta Bro Jake, thank you so much for sending it to me. I appreciate it. Going on to the next piece of mail. This is actually from Tyler, Hero Collector Tyler on Instagram. Um, he also has a YouTube, you guys did not know, where he, uh, goes, he goes ahead and puts up his uh, live matches when he goes to locals. Really, really cool content. Uh, definitely go ahead and check him out. All right, guys, so we got the card out. So this is from Hero Collector Tyler on Instagram. Definitely go ahead and check him out as well because he also does YouTube content. He uploads his footage from locals. Really cool. Um, huge hero player. So the card we got from him was actually Elemental Hero Tempest. Really cool. I've never actually had a copy of this card ever. So uh, appreciate you, Tyler. Thank you so much for being the uh, first person to give me a card like this. I love it. It's amazing. Can't wait to put this in my binder. So guys, this is from Jay Harris Games. We have definitely featured him on our mail days before, but um, we got something big for him today. So let me go ahead and open this up. You can see it was already opened. I opened it up just to make sure, you know, the condition of the card was all good and just to, you know, see it in person as well. So I'm gonna show you guys though. Let me see, this is a backwards back. It's pretty cool. So here we go. I wanted this card for the longest time as well, just like the Stardust, and uh, I was finally able to get it. Let's see, oh, here we go, it's the Blackwing Dragon Starlight Rare. Guys, I can't believe it. I got it. 
So yes, this is the Black Winged Dragon Starlight Rare from um, Darkwing Blast. Really cool that we got this card finally. So now, is now we have this card, we have the Black Rose Dragon, and we have the Stardust Dragon. Absolutely insane, I can't believe it. If you guys aren't following him on Instagram, make sure you go ahead and check out his Instagram because I'm telling you it's worth it. He posts amazing content as well. So definitely go ahead and give him a follow. And uh, I'm gonna have to show you right next to the Stardust Dragon. This is absolutely insane. If you told me I'd be getting these this year, I would've just decided that you were crazy. But <laughs> again, really happy with the cards we got. But guys, if you like the video, make sure to give it a huge like. Comment down below what your favorite card was for this mail day. Not including the stars, if we just include the mail day, this Black Green Dragon has to be my favorite. Not even gonna cap with you. It's amazing, look at it, it shines so well. Like, oh, I can't wait to put this on deck profiles. But guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're updated the moment I upload new videos. But guys, that is it for me. I have a lot of sorting to do <laughs> for two months. <laughs> But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.